everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to do a Dutch pour on this 12 by 24 inch canvas, and I'm doing a bunch of pinks. So, my base is just going to be white, but then I'm going to use, let's see, Light Rose by Amsterdam. This is Iridescent Pearl. I know that's not pink, but I needed something in there. This is the table paint. So, if you saw um, my split base that I did recently, this is the same table paint that I used to cover the canvas, and this is what I had left over. Very similar, but this one has a little bit more purplish to it. Then I'm also going to be using some leftover paint that I had. This is um, by Arteza, Glowing Peach. It's completely pink. A little bit of gold. Now, this is iridescent gold fine, um, so it's not going to create the giant cells that the Deco Art 24 karat gold would. And then permanent red. So, pretty color combination. I hope you can see those. So, yeah, I think it'll be really pretty. Just a pretty pink painting. And I'm going to do the pattern like this. Move that. Like this. Because um, I think it'd be pretty hung vertically, but it's too hard to film that way. So, I'm, <laughs> that's why I'm filming it this way. Use a white base. So, I've got my white mixed up. And yes, I'm using a Tropicana. <laughs> um, Tropicana bottle. It's just easier to store the paint there. And, and I will flood my base Get it up there. And uh, then, like I said, I will go through all the colors. Ooh, got a lot on that side. As I put them on the canvas. All right. There's that. And pop the air bubbles. Got quite a few. I had some white already mixed up, but I needed some more, so. I do have a bunch of air bubbles in this. Since I dump that, I'm going to just tilt it this way. There we go. All right. Someone blow my base out. their paint or just tilt it out. I like to use the hair dryer. There we go. I used to use the spatula. And I still do sometimes. Light Rose by Amsterdam is what we're going to start with. Such a pretty color. And this isn't a huge canvas, so I don't need tons of paint. Um, But one thing I don't want to do is get too close to the edge because it'll just start sliding off. So I'm making so I'm making sure that I'm in enough from the edge. Iridescent pearl, and believe it or not, iridescent pearl shows up beautifully on white. I mean, it's it creates a look that's so pretty. This is that table paint, so I cannot tell you what it is, but it has a little bit, you can see the difference, a little bit of a purplish tint to it. Here is that glowing <laughs> peach that is very pink. It's pretty, though. It's just a very odd name for that color. And I wanted to add a little bit of gold. There we go. And then my permanent red-purple. That's my last color. I'm hoping I got enough color on there. I was kind of skimpy with some of it. So, do I go again? Yeah, I think I'm going to do another small, thin layer. Colors are on. Pop the air bubbles in my colors. There we go. 
I'm just gonna use my small hair dryer and blow this out. that is really pretty. Love the pinks. Love the pinks. Very glad I added the gold. Oh yeah, that's pretty. The iridescent looks gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna bring you down for a close-up. Right, here are the wet results. Really turned out very soft, very pretty. Beautiful variations of pink which is what I was going for. Obviously, I used tons of pinks. Look at that iridescent right there. See how pretty that shows up? Yeah, I'm gonna turn my lights out in just a minute. But yeah, oh, look at this. So pretty, whoop. That's so pretty right there. Very glad I added the darker color. But the gold is really, really just, it's the perfect amount, it's not too much. Just adds that little extra something that this piece needs. It's pretty. I like it. Okay, I will turn my lights out. All right, lights are down, or off. It's got a bunch of shimmer in it, but look how pretty this is. It's very soft, but that's the iridescent pearl. Just gorgeous. And I apologize if you can hear um, the lawnmower, the blower, and that's my neighbor. <laughs> so pretty. Look how soft and beautiful this is. This is probably one of my favorite areas right here. I just love how soft and pretty that is. A halo of gold. Yeah, I like it. I think it turned out really pretty. Pink and that iridescent pearl is becoming one of my new faves. I just like it together. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And until next time, you have a great day. Bye.